Oh, it's got a charge attack, like the trikes. It's like a mini Triceratops. I can't outmaneuver it. It's going to kill me. Yep. I knew it. That was, uh, that was a bit of a dumb decision. I ain't gonna lie. Hey guys and gals, Gunshy Mora here with another video on Ark Survival Ascended, where today you guys are gonna notice we're back on the island. Now, the reason we are back on the island is because I have decided that we're gonna be restarting our journey here on Ark. Now, the main reason for this is just because the last couple episodes of uh, our Aberration series have felt very forced. Like, I've had to force myself to do it. Like, I've not wanted to do Ark at all. And, uh, yeah, I just felt like it it wasn't healthy for the long run. Especially because the content's quality started to drop. So, I figured the best thing to do here for Ark would to just go back to my roots. Restart on the island. Rethink my goals. And, yeah, that's what we are going to be doing. So now getting started here, I'm just getting some fiber and berries just so that way I can get some clothes made up here. Then I'm going to work on getting some tools and getting some meat before we plan on venturing out here because uh, we spawned on the was it this little peninsula tip thing. You know, the easy zone, the one place everyone spawns. Okay, got my wood. I'm going to move over a bit because there is a dillo back there and I don't want to get bit by it. I'll start out here by giving me one weight and one melee. That is just so that way I can actually fight back against creatures. Apparently, I did not get enough thatch for a pickaxe. There we go. Now with that, I can craft me a pick. And once I get my pick crafted up here, I can get me a hatchet and some spears. Okay, now I got everything here I need for my uh, tools, but I also got a level here. And I think we're going to pump this one into my movement speed. Um, as well, I think I might drop my melee down, my melee stat down by half. Because I don't think 20% is what we need per level here. I might drop that down to like 5 or even a 10. Okay, so I got me clothing now. Last thing I need here is some spears. Now once we get these spears, we got some Dilophosaurus over here. And I just figured that taking up the Dilophosaurus would be best. and Because it's going to get rid of one of the dangers I have to worry about over here on the peninsula. And as well, it's going to get me some hide and meat. Okay, so I got me some spears now. I know there's a Dilophosaurus somewhere. There it is. You are what? Level 25. Oh, you got a buddy. Level 65 and you got a baby. Gotta be careful on how many spears I throw. There we go. And as well out of that. Would you look at that? Oh, and you got a mutation. Because your mom was level 65. What is it? Alright, yeah, you got one. I'm not going to be able to figure it out. Wait, hold up. Yes, I can. I still have the corpse. I can't access its inventory because it doesn't have an inventory. That's not good. Okay, did I get any more of my spears? Okay, it looks like we lost one. But, out of that, we did get a baby. Which, yeah. I don't know how I feel about this. You know what, here. I will try and keep you alive. You can have half the meat. Okay, so we got a white drop coming down here. So I'm going to wait for that, and while I wait for that, I'm going to get a campfire going, and I'm going to cook up the food that I got here. Now, the Dilophosaurus is actually growing up surprisingly well, so I'm thinking my, my, uh, was it, my creature, my breeding settings carried over perfectly from Beacon. Because, yeah, this shouldn't take any more than, what, a half hour? 40 minutes for a Dilophosaurus? I'm pretty sure it's closer to a half hour to 20 minutes. I think that's what the Dilophosaurus was on. It was on the, it was on the, definitely, I want to say mid-range, mid to low range. So, but yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Just got to keep an eye on its food. So as well, while my food's cooking and that drop's coming down, I'm just going to work on getting some resources here, such as wood and stone. 
Mostly just so I can level up. I'm not too worried about, like, actually using it. I don't have a plan for that yet. And as well, actually, to get levels here, just because I do remember this, there is a note somewhere along this beach for the Bob's Tall Tales. Now, ooh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, they're over there. I thought I was getting dive-bombed on by them. But no, yeah, I think it's somewhere along this beach, there should be an explorer note for the Bob's Tall Tales. I'm going to go look for that, and as well, I'm going to give me some stamina here just so I have a little extra. Okay, I can already tell I started heading the wrong way, and as I turned around, the drop has landed. So I'm going to get the drop here, and then I'll go find that explorer note. But, hey, you know what? I'll take that. That's a, that's a little shack for me to set up real quick. So that way, if I am stuck on this beach at night, I do get a little protection, and I got boots now. My boots. Oh! One more thing I want to I want to do, just because I got the mod today. If I open this up, this is a uh, that little tab there, this little eye, that is your custom cosmetics. It'll bring you over here to all the skins that you've gotten off of the mods and all that off the mod page. And there is a certain costume in here. As you may see, I have the Spino costume. We got a Procroptodon costume. So if I put that on, we are a giant Procroptodon. This is. <laughs> This is epic. I ain't gonna lie. I used to run around uh, that la the first summer that the... What was it called? Oh, there's the Explorer note. The first summer that the... the was it the last summer that the Summer Bash had an update on uh, ASE? And we got the was it inflatable T-Rex suit? That summer that they added that? I, like, non-stop afterwards ran around in it. And ever since the, like, modding community has gotten their hands on these... They've been making, like, non-stop bangers. I actually believe this one and the Spinosaurus one here are from both the same mod author, if I'm correct. If they are, I'll put a yes up on the screen, and I'll link them in the... What was it? In the description. I'll link both the mods here, just because the, I find these so epic. But yeah, we got the Spino here. I'm going to run around in the Procoptodon suit from now on. Just because I love it so much. And yeah, the mod only has like 300 subscribers right now. So if you guys do love this as well, go subscribe to it. I'm definitely going to link it in the description. Also, uh, Trike, you're right in my way. Also, this, this looks awesome laying down. So as well, while we got this uh, XP bonus, I figured it'd be best for us to hunt some creatures. Now, if this is a low-level Parasaur, we're going to take it out. But if it's above a level 50, we might try and tame that Parasaur. Oh, that's bad. Okay, actually, no, that's good. There we go. Him running into the water actually slowed him down for me. I need to get all my spears. Is there one in your leg? Oh, there we go. We got it. So now we're going to chop this up. We're just going to be killing some creatures here, mostly for XP, while we got the, you know, the couple minutes. Was it 10 minutes of XP bonus? And this also gets us extra meat. For our uh, Dilophosaurus and for us. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is this a passive tame? It is. What level are your guys' saddles at? I might try and tame one of these guys. Because I'm actually kind of looking for a... Okay, it's either level 12 or level 9. That's not hard because I'm already level 11. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's give me two points into health. Let's do two more into stamina just to cap that off. And what should I do? One more into movement speed. Just so that way we feel like we actually move somewhat fast. But no, if I'm correct, we actually should get your saddle, right? I need one more level. It's got to be that one. Hold up. Okay. This might be a bit of a risky decision. Because, uh, yeah. It's it's still technically like a Triceratops. I might try and take out this level 10 one here after this Dodo. Because I'm still trying to level up here by getting kills. But that is a bigger creature. It technically be worth more, right? Oh, it turns on a dime. Oh, and it's got better range. Look, what the heck is the range? Oh, no. The, no the, what is going on? This thing is better than a trikes. This thing is... Oh, it's got a charge attack. Like the trikes. It's like a mini triceratops. 
I can't outmaneuver it. It's going to kill me. Yep. I knew it. Oh, that was uh that was a bit of a dumb decision. I ain't gonna lie. But that also let us know that those are actually a really good creature. I should probably try and tame one. Okay, we're almost back to our stuff, but sadly, because of that, we actually lost the rest of our uh little XP bonus there. So there is a bit of a downside there. Actually, there's a big downside there, because that was like a, still a good, what, eight, seven minutes? Either way, what I'm going to do here is run back to my little campfire, check on the Dilophosaur, make sure it's okay. It's already at adolescent. It should be fine. I'm going to check its food, though. I don't want it to starve on me. That'd be, that'd be worst case scenario. You're fine here. Let's give you ten pieces. There you go. You should be good. He's halfway. How much of this is cooked? All of it. So, hold up. We'll take that. I'll give you this. And I'll let this just keep going. And I'll get me a bunch of meat. Okay, I just opened up Dino Finder here. And it appears that there is a level 85 Styracosaurus right here. Right next to where we died. Was that the one I was fighting? No, because I was fighting a level 10. Okay. Now, I got me Medjo Berries here. It says they're a passive tame. Now, the best I can do is Medjo Berries. I'm really hoping that they take them. Um, what do I need for a dino book? What do I need for a note? Okay, I need what? One more? Now I got a dino book. So, what these dino books are, it's basically like an in-game dino decks. Or if I just open it up here and I type in st, it's going to pull them up and it's going to tell me what they need. I'm going to need 34 Medjo Berries for 150. What about for an 85? 21. We should be good. But this might take a hot minute here. That's one. We got 20 more to go. Okay, as well, while we were just standing here waiting for this guy to be able to be fed again, we got another level. So now we are level 12, and we should be able to craft this. Right? Sty... Styra Saddle. This is definitely the one we need. I'm feeling like this This is for the little, uh, what is it? It looks like a packy. It's like a little packy variant. But these are both from a mod known as, uh, was it Neo? Neo Arc or whatever? I think that's what the series is called. And it's the Neo Arc Styracosaurus and Stigmasaurus. So, he is still not hungry yet. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought. I don't know why, but I also started feeding this one. Just because. I really would like this one. This is the one we're aiming for. But it's taken forever. These guys are just migrating down the beach now, and neither one of them want anything to do with the berries. Like, seriously, they're like full-on on migration now. They've been walking in a straight line, both of them. There we go, we finally get to do the second feed after a good, what was it, ten minutes? Eight, ten minutes? That took a while. What about you? Are you going to tell me, oh look, you can feed me now? No. Where are you going? Into the ocean? Gonna go get eaten by a shark now that I've given you a second feed? I don't know why, but all of a sudden now they're eating, like, faster. Like, that was a minute. Like, I'm not joking. This one was a minute. I think it's working now for all, the, all of a sudden. Like, that first one had a big long wait. Now these ones, like, the last three feeds I've given this guy, it's been one minute in between. Now, if I'm correct, this guy should be ready to feed again here soon. He's going to be ready to feed, like, within the next 20 seconds. Then after him, it's, like, another 20 seconds for him. Or, for, from her, it goes to him. Sorry. Keep on saying the wrong one. Okay, I just gave them a Medjo Berry, so that means that you should be ready here soon, right? Like, it, this should be, like, 10, 15 seconds in between. So, that one's going a different direction now. Which, well, bam. Now, look at that. As soon as he walked over the hill, we got it. Now, it should be you here soon. 
Okay, so I just fed the 85. The level 10 here is what I believe on its last feed. So this one should be done. And then the only one we have to worry about is the level 85. But yeah, this should be any second now. Alrighty, here we go. Well, bam. So that level 10 is now done. Now, the only reason I tamed this was just because it was there. But it also does technically give our male a mating boost because it is female. It doesn't technically. It will give our male a mating boost because it's female. So I guess I really shouldn't complain too much because it is going to help out here. Now, originally what I was thinking to do after I got my food all cooked up was to go tame up a Parasaur. But since we got these guys and they are technically, in my own preference, easier to tame just because they are a passive. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do instead of taming up a Parasaur. And as well, it gives our Dilophosaurus time to grow up. And yeah, but we do got a little bit of a mini pack technically going now. We got two of these Storacos and then we also got a Dilophosaurus. Okay, so we are just a little bit over the halfway point now here on the level 85. So I'm thinking this is going to be another 10 minutes here. Then this one is done. And then I'll get back to you guys once we get him done. So just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what, like, what his progress is. So yeah. So this one is now on its last feed. And wha-bam! Now that 185 jumps up to a 120, or what, not 185, that level 85 jumps up to a 127 now. I can throw its saddle on it, and apparently it appears that they can even take carts if I can get one crafted up. But we got us a little bit of a mount. Now, I do gotta say one thing. It does seem like it is a bit slower than a Parasaur. This seems like the, par like the run seems like the... Seems like the walking speed of the Parasaur. But I'm not going to complain because technically this is faster than my sprint. Okay, so now we are back over here by our campfire. It appears my Storacosaurus here has ran out of stamina. So that's no fun. But yeah, we're back. Now let me do one little thing here. You follow you, and as well, you follow it as well. You're the alpha of the pack here. So I want all of them to follow you. So yeah, now what we're going to do here is we're going to grab all our meat. We'll just take everything out of here. And we'll pick the campfire back up. Now, what I want to use this one for here, besides just giving mine a mate boost, is and eh, no i don't want to do that i want to store the structures on you just so that way yeah i want to keep my raw resources or i want to keep the raw resources on me just in case i need to build something but yeah i'm gonna give you all the structures and you know i'll give you the berries here as well that i don't need and i'll give you the narco and stem berries just because in your inventory do they not yeah, no, they last longer in your inventory, so I'll keep them in there. Same with that, and I don't believe the seeds. Oh, the seeds do, actually, so we'll just keep that all in there, so that way it's on them. And then the rest of this we'll just keep in our inventory. Um, The raw meat, though, I will give to the Dilophosaurus here. And Dilophosaurus will give you one melee and one health. Because I'm going to set you... I'm, you're going to be a guard dog, essentially. That's what you're going to turn out to be, okay? But now that is everything packed up. Um, I'm going to get me some water here. And I think what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be moving out and looking for a good spot to get some metal set up and processing. But yeah, that's probably going to be next episode because I think I'm going to call it here, guys. So if you guys have found yourself at any point today enjoying this episode please do consider leaving a like and subscribing also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos and remember to share this video with your friends and family because that does really help out the channel and yeah this has been gunshy mori signing out peace